Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Dukhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Here is an important public announcement. Walk into any vaccination site on vaccination day and get vaccinated. No prior registration on COVID is required for vaccination. Don't forget to carry a valid ID card for registration during vaccination. For further details, updates, visit nhmmeghalaya.nic.in or call toll-free headline 14410 issued in public interest by National Health Mission Government of Meghalaya The cryogenic oxygen plant to meet oxygen supply for Garo Hills and parts of West Khasi Hills was inaugurated at Jengjal on Friday by Forest and Environment Minister James Sangma. The plant will cater to the much-needed oxygen supply of Garo Hills as well as parts of neighbouring West Khasi Hills. With the new plant functional, the shortage of oxygen supply in the state will not be a hindrance in the treatment of patients, especially when a pandemic strikes. The Environment Minister, Lord Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma and the entire team for their constant, unwavering support. The COVID-19 crisis has forced education systems worldwide to find alternatives to -to face-to-face instruction. As a result, online teaching and learning have been used by teachers and students on an unprecedented scale. Against the backdrop of digital learning, especially in COVID times, Meghala Chief Minister Conrad K. Sama held a meeting on Friday with the officials of telecom operators and IT department on measures to be adopted to improve internet and telecommunication services, especially in rural areas of the state. After 50 long years, the Directorate of Higher and Technical Education gets its own office building at Kenilworth Road, Shillong, that was inaugurated by Meghalaya Education Minister Lakmen Rumboy today, a testament of MDA's commitment to improve the education sector in Meghalaya. Moving on. Meghalaya Assembly Speaker and UDP President Medba Lingdo on Friday said that the party has penned a letter to Chief Minister Conrad Sangma listing some suggestions on the proposed amendment of the sixth schedule of the Indian Constitution. In the letter, the UDP, one of the coalition partners in Meghalaya Democratic Alliance or MDA, has also extended support to the recommendation of the Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council or KHADC to reduce the number of seats from the proposed 40 to 37. The recommendations also stated that village councils will be applicable only in Garo Hills, while village Dorbar will continue in Khasi and Jantia Hills. UDP General Secretary Jemino Mautho said there is nothing wrong for the indigenous people to raise issues affecting them in order to safeguard their rights and interests. Reacting to the recent Taliban remark made by Congress spokesperson Randeep Singh Surjewala, Mautho said it was unacceptable and youth should not be painted the same because in a democratic country there are people of all shades and colours. He also added that since all these issues have not been addressed in the right perspective, it is this reason that the people are agitated and this is a phenomenon everywhere, not only in Meghalaya. The UDP General Secretary also expressed his concern about inflammatory speech online. He said that the reach of social media is widespread and its impact could be unimaginable. Chief of the Air Staff or CAS Air Chief Marshal RKS Bhadoria is on a two-day visit to the headquarters Eastern Air Command or EAC in Shillong, Meghalaya on August 26 to 27 to attend the Commander's Conference of EAC. On arrival, CAS was received by Air Marshal Amit Dev, Air Officer, Commanding-in-Chief Eastern Air Command. Suspected militants of the Dimasa National Liberation Army or DNLA allegedly killed five truck drivers and set ablaze the trucks at Diumbra area in Assam's Dimahasau district on Thursday evening. The incident was reported at around 8.30 p.m. that night, but the police confirmed it on Friday morning. The reason behind the attack is not yet known. Eyewitnesses said armed militants first opened fire on the trucks and later set them on fire before fleeing from the area. A flood-like situation was witnessed in several districts of Arunachal Pradesh following incessant rainfall. Apart from affecting normal life, this has also resulted in damage to crops and infrastructure. The water level of several rivers in the Siang district increased, causing large-scale damage to agriculture and horticulture crops, including bamboo groves, 
Officials said around 550 affected people were shifted to the government higher secondary school in Boleng. The residents of low-lying areas were asked to remain vigil in the wake of the rising water level. Officials also informed that the Bailey Bridge at Supal village connecting six upstream villages of the district was washed away and the power channel and water conducting system of Subong Hydro Power Plan or SHP were damaged due to landslide affecting power generation. The Assam government has decided to create as many as 900 new posts in the Public Works Department, PWD, and Public Health Engineering, PHE Department. These new 900 posts will be created by making new circles and divisions under these two departments in various parts of the state. The decision was taken during an Assam cabinet meeting held on Thursday in Guwahati. The Assam cabinet approved creation of as many as eight circles, 20 new divisions and 28 subdivisions across the state. The cabinet also approved creation of 804 technical posts for the Department of PWD. The Assam Chief Minister's Office or CMO said in a statement, 93 posts will be created under the PHE department by setting up three new divisions at Majuli, South Salmara, Mankatar and Bajali District. Districts. A pleasant news for fantasy fans and adventurers. A 29-year-old physical education teacher from Nagaland built his fantasy hobbit home in the forest of Konoma village, making the fascinating house one of a kind in the state. It took Chase about two months to construct the hobbit home in the forest, of which three days were spent in digging five feet of the fresh soil. According to Chase, winter will be the best time for visitors to come by the hobbit home, as he intends to light up the surroundings with Christmas decor, hoping to create a festive environment in the woods. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela.